Greetings, happy Friday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we get into the seven topics I'm gonna to talk about today, please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment if you want any further information on anything. Greetings, welcome, once again. Ashe and blessings. Today we're back on a Friday to talk about Oshun. For those who know her and for those who don't, we went over the last video, the last, um, what is it, last week, Friday? Oshun can be either lit on a Friday or Saturday, whichever one your house um, assigns to you. But I did promise you guys I was going to make like a sample altar so you guys can see a little bit more further. Before I get into anything, once again, never keep on the floor. Anywhere that I will always say, anywhere from your chest up, don't keep on the floor. I'm just doing a sample so you guys can have an idea. Okay, so let's get into it. What we have today, the herb of today, is chamomile. Last time we went over the same oils. This is um, Success Oil. This is Seven African Powers Oil. This is Florida Water, Glitter, and I'm going to use um, money, money powder today because the person that's requesting this spell that I'm doing work for is for money. She has a fresh mango today. Coconut is right in here if you cannot see it. And I've also decorated this miniature altar for her. This is her candle. And what I went ahead and did, and I sent a message to her what the person wanted me was to do. Everything is in here. Her beads, miniature statue when I use <clears throat> these um, temporary altars to do certain works for certain clients. Honey, we have honey up here. We have soda, we have pumpkins. She has her own Florida water. She has her own wine, her own, you know, chocolate. You have to really, really take care of them when you're doing these certain things. You understand? Everybody else is different. Like I said, this is not my personal altar. This is an altar that I use when I'm doing work. As you can see, I have some peacock feathers. I don't know if you can see them because it's so tall. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Just had to show that when you're dealing with her and a mask over here in the corner. It's not her color, but I always keep something, you know, pretty and dazzled out. I did the same routine that we did the last time with the candle. You write what you want, you clean your candles, you leave whatever messages. And the herb that I use today is chamomile. Chamomile for a reason. It's different herbs you can use for her. Last time we did one herb. This one, this is a new herb. You will have to look at the video, the previous video to get that information. All you just have to do is just sprinkle it in the candle. It shows you the method that I use when I'm lighting her, how to light her, you know, with the matches. Today we're going to get into seven qualities of Oshun. So that's the reason why I came back. I kept my promise to her and I kept my promise to you. And here we go. Number one, Oshun colors are five. I mean, excuse me, Oshun numbers is five. Her colors are yellow. Her colors are yellow. Um, Oshun is a very beautiful, sexy, passionate Orisha. She stands out in the crowd. She's, you know, everybody always say, oh, you know, they go this sexy person or whatever like that. But it's not all about that. She has a lot of beauty. Keep that in mind. And Oshun loves, she loves hard. Sometimes the way she loves, she does not get it back from people, which is okay. You know, just knowing to cut that loose. Oshun comes from the river. She's a river. She's a river Orisha. So please remember that. Anybody that deals with her knows that's where you go to get your blessings. It's from the river. Um, Oshun is one of the gentlest uh, Orisha that I've ever worked with. And everybody always say, you know, I prefer to have other people than her. But I, as we get into it, you'll see that why is it good to have Oshun. Oshun is one of the four pillars of Santaria. Oshun is a warrior. Most people don't know that. Oh, yes, she is. Don't get it confused with all the beauty and the sexuality and the sensuality and the fertility. Oshun is a warrior. Yes, she is. Um, when you're dealing with uh, Oshun, always protect yourself. Always, always, always ask for peace, blessings, self-love, abundance, wealth, health, healing, good health, positive things. Um... I usually, when I work with Oshun, I don't use her for love for me and another person. I tell her that straight up. I'm using you for so that way I can love myself. I don't care about nobody. If they ain't on my frequency, they ain't for me in the first place. Because you will attract certain things when you're dealing with Oshun. Low-level entities. Bombs. I said it, yes, for the females. Bombs. For the men, I don't know what you're going to attract. Because I'm not a man, so I don't know. Um, you will attract some men who are out here that don't have a penny. That, you know, listen... You got to be careful. So when you're using her, if I usually only use her for self-love, 
love of my family, love of my children, my health. I'm not looking for, I'm not putting no man name in this candle. Only your name and her name going here. I don't know what else you're doing. That's okay. Um, my only job is for me to inform. My only job is for me to show them recognition. My only job is to thanks. And my only job that they said, listen, if we keep working with you, you have to tell the truth. That's the only thing I could do. I don't know anything else. I do know, but listen, they didn't tell me to say that. I'm only telling you what they tell me to tell you. And I'm delivering that message. Once again, you always protect yourself, especially when you are a woman and you are working with Oshun, what is going to come? You're gonna have problems. You are going to have problems with other women. Jealousy, envy, gossip, listen, because you stand out. You're very beautiful. Of course, there's other, a lot of men, or sometimes even women become attracted to you. You have to know how to protect yourself. Always, I always say it, put a herb in here for protection. Besides the chamomile, you can use a little bit of rosemary, dry rosemary, dry sage, you have to, have to, have to, you know, protect yourself. Anything you do, always ask them for protection first. Whether you're going for money, a new job, to sweeten up your business, to sweeten up your whole life, always ask for protection first. That's the number one key when you're dealing with Santaria, any type of um, spiritual work, any type of ancestral work. Any, please protect yourself, whatever you do, as above, so below. Please, 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 please. Um, here we go. Always ask her to give you the feminine qualities see that's why some people don't know she's a warrior because when they see these uh women or whoever it is oshun come up to be so sexy and you know they don't know if you get the correct oshun the real one of the real pillars you will find out she's a warrior because just when you think you got it in the bag and oh you know and i did it then you meet the other side which is a very that person will tell you about yourself in a minute man watch it if you know you are out here using Oshun to do love spells on women, do not do it. Do work on yourself. Ask the universe to bring that love in for you, for yourself. Other people will be attracted to you naturally. You don't have to work nobody to get them to be attracted to you. That's why I'm using the money powder because the spell that I'm casting today, and this is a spell that I'm doing today, is for money. Um, that's why I said in the last video that I was going to show you a little mini altar. Remember, she does not go on the floor. I'm only on here doing this type of work, spreading the word. That's the only reason why I'm on the floor. Put her up. Do not keep her on the ground at all, any low level. No, 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 no. Clean yourself. Use the Florida water. Clean your hands. Take a shower. Keep your space clean when you're dealing with Oshun. Oshun likes nice things. Don't come to her begging her for stuff and you ain't got nothing out. The layup is not right. Even It doesn't matter how it look. Start from anyway. Even if it's just five pennies you're putting down for her, that's cool. Start there. Make sure her stuff is clean. Make sure she has a glass of fresh water, which I don't have here, but it's already at the location where this work is getting ready to go to. You always, always, always pay them after the work is done. And I'm going to do a next video on that showing you after the candle is burnt how to pay the spirits at the crossroads or wherever it is that you do your dumping work. That's cool. Um, what else can I say about Mama Oshun? Hmm. She has an empress-like quality very empress because she's um, very fertile. If you use tarot cards, when you see the empress pop up, it's usually, I, I um, use that card in coalition with Oshun because, you know, she has those qualities. Once again, ask for self-love first, ask for self-worth first, ask for health, ask for healing, ask for fertility, ask for your luck, your abundance. Keep in mind, you cannot go into a relationship before you use this Oshun to go and get a relationship and you don't got a place to live. You can't take care of the person, the person can't take care of you, no. You have to have your stuff in order. Please and thank you, sending you lots of love. If I come off strong, it's because I'm telling you the truth. It's only coming from a clean space in my heart. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, leave a comment if you need any type of information. Sending you lots of love, lots of light, lots of blessings from the sweet waters of the rivers. Ashe, blessings, and happy Friday.